This video is brought to you by Squarespace. When I'm traveling or going on vacation, my idea of a good time is sampling the local secondhand fare. Do we pass a thrift shop? Was that an antique mall? We're pulling over. And I've thrifted across the US as well as all across Japan. Have you seen these videos? but I've never gotten the taste, the exquisite secondhand cuisine that Europe has to offer. So this week, we're gonna put it to the test. Specifically, we're gonna explore Paris and Vienna and see what kind of secondhand treasure we can scrounge up. This trip happened about a month ago and I've been so excited to show you how it went, what I got, but I wanted to wait until after all of the Halloween videos were done. So as we come down from spooky season, grab a little bev, have a little snack, and we're off to Paris. Oh, you don't have a ticket? Okay, don't tell anyone, but I'll, I'll put you in my bag, okay? Come with me, come on. As soon as we landed, we did what any sensible humans would do upon landing in Paris. We went to explore our neighborhood, our r and mall. We were in the Montparnasse area, which is very artsy and cool, so of course, we just happened to stumble upon an art supply store. Yeah, that, that was definitely on purpose on my part. I really wanted to try some of these wax pastels. They're basically super fancy crayons with great color payoff, and this was gonna be my souvenir for the trip. We got the goods, and we got out of there. So our whole reason for coming to Europe was because we were attending a Parisian wedding. But it also happened to be Paris Fashion Week at the same time, so there was literal paparazzi blocking our way into the venue. If anyone recognizes this model, let me know. I, I didn't know who she was, but hey, she looked great. I won't bore you with wedding details, but it was uh, not boring. It was amazing. And we danced until 4 a.m. in a discotheque, so you, you tell me how that sounds. Awesome. Anyways, the next day, we did touristy things. We ate ice cream on the river. We went to the Eiffel Tower. And we also happened to stumble across some cool vintage stores and kilo stores. Now, since we were in such a touristy area, these stores were packed. And I'm not gonna lie, the lack of AC and the crowdedness I felt really claustrophobic. I did not have a great time, but it wasn't these stores fault, okay? It's a me problem. It was like 90 degrees this day in the beginning of October. Rude, to be honest. This first store had this amazing Japanese motif. And I really wish I could have spent more time here and had a little bit more space because I feel like I would have been in heaven. Tons of patterns, vintage kimono. I really love this upcycled tote bag made from an old silk kimono. I kind of regret not getting it, but your girl's got a lot of tote bags, you know? We checked out a couple other ones, but honestly, kind of just had to evacuate the premises. I, I could not deal with crowds this day. Probably because I was up till 4 a.m. dancing at a discotheque. I spent all my fun energy the night before and I just could not cope. Now this kilo shop I think was my favorite. It had a lot of space to walk around, wasn't too crowded, but they also just had an amazing curation of vintage pieces and tons of different price points. And gotta admit, they played the best music. We couldn't we couldn't help but bust a move. They had everything here. I would totally recommend checking out this spot. And if you look out the window, there's just like a casual medieval ruin. Man, Europe is cool. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on the channel, but I studied French in high school and college and really loved it. So I was definitely geeking out quite a bit while being here. It was my first time in France. And I'm not gonna lie, but I am gonna brag my French was great. I could say whatever I wanted. I was amazed. I graduated high school a while ago and have not really kept up my skills. So dang, it really came back. All those years learning verb tenses that I never thought I would need. Well, I don't remember those, but hey, I can order at a restaurant like a beast. Speaking of restaurants, on to the next day where we grabbed, oh, just the most delicious breakfast set at this adorable cafe. If you're in the Montparnasse area, definitely check this out. Anyways, this day was my kind of scheduled thrifting day for the trip. And I really wanted to go to an actual thrift store or flea market or a vie de grenier as they call them, empty attic sale. But they all happen early in the morning and we woke up, well, you'll see. So it's been a saga to get here. Also, I look like a thumb. It's our last day in Paris and it was gonna be our flea market day, the day that I film a cool thrifting video. But we slept until, um, one, still feeling a little jet lagged and missed all the good stuff. So we kind of gave up, didn't think I'd have any adventures at the flea market during our trip in Paris. But then we go grab some coffee. And what's that we see down the street? White tents. And when you see white tents, you know there's gonna be a vie de grenier or 
flea market. Thank you, Fifth Gods. Or should I say, can I see? There's a little demon, guys. Cool. <laughs> After a truly unforgettable couple days in Paris, we hopped over to Austria to visit some friends and of course go thrifting, but we'll get to that. Welcome to Vienna, baby. So we're definitely gonna check out vintage shops, thrift stores, but first, let's go for a swim. One thing about me is that if the weather's warm enough, I will seek out a body of water to be in. <laughs> I don't know, I just love swimming, especially on trips. So when our friends were like, what do you wanna do when you come visit us? One of my top ideas besides thrifting was I wanna swim in the river, in the good old blue Danube, that beautiful, clean, big old body of water. This was really magical because I think it was the last warm day of the year. Like I said, we were there in October, it was like 80 degrees, and it was so cool to see the locals taking a dip to take the edge off after their work day. Young, old, nude, not nude. <laughs> and while we enjoy a peaceful dip in the Blue Danube, let's hear from today's sponsor. If you don't know, Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for standing out and succeeding online. And the best part, it's easy to make it look like you know what you're doing with tons of beautiful, flexible website templates to start with. Whether you need a portfolio site or an online shop, Squarespace has your back. And to make these templates your own, you can harness the power of Fluid Engine, which allows you to customize every detail with this really intuitive drag and drop technology. Finally, if you just wanna keep it simple and cute, why not try a bio site? You can bring together everything you do and share online in one easy link. So check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Kathleen Illustrated for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now, on with the show. Hi. Today, we're going vintage shopping and thrift shopping, whatever I can find. So put on your shoes, get your German ready, because we're off. Our first stop is within walking distance, so hopefully I don't get lost. Also, please pray that my hair dries in a socially acceptable fashion. That's all I'm asking for. <laughs> knitted and it is so soft these are hand added oh my gosh we have to try this this one too no tags oh my gosh so beautiful prices are a little steep but like that's incredible oh my gosh who let the dogs in to my heart and soul forever hello I love it. We've got some things to try, people. Somehow these shoulders are too big for me, which is a tough challenge. So congratulations to this sweater. These flowers are so sweet though. Awesome color. Far too itchy. So this little vest, <laughs> I can't. There's this whole spinner rack of things that I think are like traditional or like quintessential Austrian items. This was on there. <laughs> like, I don't think I would ever wear this. For some reason, I'm just like not a gray fan, but I appreciate you. I see you. This is so sick. And it has these little buttons on the side so that you can make it tighter up top if you wanted to. I also just looked at the tag and it's Masoni. We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. So we are going to Oktoberfest later this evening, or an Oktoberfest type thing. I think she's a little small, unfortunately. But this, look at that sleeve. This little rope around the neck, not so much a fan of that. But the buttons are Edelweiss. I love it, this does button. I'm just a little too lazy right now. I had to try this little crab sweater on. Do you see this little guy? Tell me you see him. I also found this beautiful big skirt. Let's try him. I'm so hot, but he's so cute. It's a no for me, but I'm glad I did it, you know? Look at the swoosh on this bad boy. I feel like this would be so perfect for fall, like layering under things, making a bit of a statement. I think this would fit in my bag. 
Yeah, and it's only 12 euros. I also feel like maybe Gus would like this, so I just sent him a text with a picture that just said, you want crab? You want crab? We'll see what he says. So that was just the first stop, and I already have a full bag. Oh no, my poor carry-on. Um, let's go regret our decisions. I mean, think about our decisions and grab some coffee. I've been searching for an Einspanner, an Einspanner, because one of the main characters in this webtoon I read called Act Like You Love Me, I think is what it's called, um, always orders them. And I want to be just like him. Also, I'm sure some of you read webtoons. Or if you read any other graphic media, manga, other things. Let me know as well. So I looked up what an Einspanner was. Turns out I don't want to be like him. Don't, don't want that. But what I did want, iced cafe latte. One thing I'm noticing in Europe, or maybe it's just a Paris and Vienna thing, you can let me know. Oh, going. Is that it's um, difficult to get just like a big glass of water. Can I just have some water, please? But with your coffee drinks, you do get a little glass. I'll take it. For our next stop, we have to hop on the U-Bahn or the Metro and head a little further into the city. I love the public transit here. You know I'm a train girl. One T. Okay. This guy is pretty sick. Not Austrian enough though. I found him. The winter mouse. He's so cute. Big fan of that. I like these. Hello, beautiful. Oh wow. This kind of feels like something that like the evil stepsister would wear in Cinderella, but it would like kind of slay. Too much. Too much for me. Whoa. Watch it. Might be the most beautiful sweater I've ever seen. We have a very warm color palette to try on. Also, can we get a little commotion for the mirror? <laughs> I really wish these worked. They're just a little too low-waisted. This mirror gives you a nice view. Three different angles of the camel toe. Come on, fine motor skills. Certified fluffy. Flip. Certified fluffy. Okay, no look there, but we're heading down the street. What is this? to a place called Retro Shots. I heard that the Viennese respect the crosswalk. So if you're at a crosswalk, you can't jaywalk. And my Midwestern heart just wants to go. I just want to walk. No cars coming, let me walk. But no, I respect the local rules. I'll be a good visitor and I'll respect the crosswalk. Unless there's no one there to see me do it. <laughs> 
Later that evening, our friends took us to the Prater, which is like this big park with an amusement park, to experience the Austrian equivalent of Oktoberfest. I feel like I'm revealing a lot of personal information during this video, but if you don't know, soft pretzels are my favorite food, so this was a big deal for me. Luckily, the beers are pretty low alcohol content, so we all survived these ginormous steins, but it did give us the courage to then explore the amusement park, including getting on a water ride that we knew we were gonna get soaked on. But hey, can you blame me for not being able to say no to a $3 log flume ride? Honestly. Souvenirs specifically, we leave tomorrow and we haven't gotten like any, so wish us luck. Oh my gosh. Love him. You found the best thing? Oh. My. Wait, look at the back. It's you. You're the street blader. There's like a, a big mirror up here and it definitely reflects onto a security camera. I can see them, they can see me. I found the vintage corner. Let's look. I'm really looking for something with Edelweiss on it. I know a lot of the traditional clothing have it. Whoa. Whoa. Guess whose really blading shirt was four euros. It's amazing. You came out like a bandit. Yeah, it's so cool. I was being picky, you didn't get anything. Yo. 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 Well, 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 well. It's been quite literally one month since I returned from Europe and I've had some time to process. Process things like how we escaped the great Parisian bed bug apocalypse of 2023. Process things like I think Gus had more luck thrifting than I did and I just have to be okay with that. And it also means I just have to go back with more time. However, as you saw, the secondhand shopping in Vienna, mwah. So let me show you the things I picked up. And all together, it is a texture paradise. We've got a silky lacy skirt. We've got this really coarse homespun linen-y dress and this charcoal checkerboard sweater vest. I know. I have a problem. Let's talk about the skirt first. The swoosh factor of this skirt is monumental, which also means that it's, I don't know, literal yards of fabric that I had to stuff into my carry-on. I brought an extra like tote bag, a big zipper tote bag, as I always do when I'm traveling, just in case I hit the mother load and I have to check a bag on the way home. But this was the case where I was like, I could fit it all in my carry-on. It was just gonna look a little crazy. And it did, but it was worth it because this skirt is fulfilling all of my spaghetti western strumpet dreams. Which reminds me, in my last video, Megan commented asking me if I'd heard of Colonial Harlot as a style, mixing more traditional like military or utilitarian pieces with kind of scandalous sexy pieces. Love it. Spaghetti Western strumpet meets colonial harlot. The skirt could work for both. Now, when I did bring the skirt up to the register to buy it, the person working there, I don't think spoke a lot of English and was kind of trying to convey a thought to me. And they're like, this skirt, um, uh, it's kind of, funny. And to that, 
I would agree. Every time I've worn it in public, and I mean every time, someone has asked me, is that part of a costume? Maybe. And honestly, I love that. I think a core part of my personal style is making things feel a little costumey, a little fantastical. Also this color, I feel like it up levels it a little bit and paired with a big chunky sweater or even worn under a dress, the layering options are endless. Much like my love for this article of clothing. On to the next. Let's talk about this dress. I think I mentioned it when I was thrifting, but Edelweiss is like my favorite flower or at the very top. I love this song. I walk down the aisle to it. I have a little music box of it. So I found this beautiful dress that I think fits me like the snuggest, cutest little glove. I almost said rug. Now I'm gonna be real with you. I don't love this little braided detail around the neckline. It just feels like it kind of detracts from the clean classic silhouette. So we're going to remove it. We're gonna keep the buttons going up the front. I wanna keep that traditional aspect to it. And maybe we can save these little beads and buttons for another project. And finally, I was gonna say the cream of the crop, the creme de la creme de la sweater vest but all of these pieces i found are kind of the cream of the crop and that's when you know you had a good thrift haul when everything feels so special so unique you really curated your choices and can't pick a favorite because they're all worthy of that top dog status but like let's be real i found a masoni checkerboard sweater vest that's pretty tight. I didn't even know this was like a quote unquote designer brand. I just saw the texture and the pattern, the checkerboard, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna need to put that on my body. The charcoal sections have kind of this rainbow thread aspect to it. What a treasure. It's thick, it's structured, it has a nice shape. It's pretty much everything you could ask for in regards to a staple statement wardrobe piece. Would I go as far as to say if I had to get rid of all of my sweater vests, this is the one I would keep? I would go as far as to say that. And lucky for me, no one's ever gonna force me to act on that statement, so it's fine. Well, what'd you think? All I know is that I feel like a princess in a silly goofy mood in this dress. And isn't that what we all want? Or more importantly, isn't that exactly what I want. Let me know down below if you had a favorite find or if anything surprised you about my experience. I do wish that I could have given Paris a better chance. I know some of y'all sent me lists of places to visit and I wish I had more time to do so, but I had a great time there and would love to go back. And Vienna, wow. The river, mwah. The public transit, mwah. Also, if you live anywhere across the world or have been anywhere across the world that had awesome secondhand stuff or it's just a great place to visit, also let me know down in the comments. I'd love 2024 to be a year of thrifty travel, exploration, and I figure we might as well get started planning now. If you liked this video, then you'll probably like all of my other videos, so feel free to subscribe if you would like. I really appreciate it. And if you do, you'll be notified next week when I post my next video, which will be estate sale shopping. I already went. I already filmed it. It was incredible because it was the home of an artist. Art supplies, and weird stuff galore. So make sure you come back for that. And if you wanna keep up with me during the week between videos, come hang out on Instagram. We have a good time over there and I'd love to see you at Kathleen Illustrated. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna get out of here. I hope you have a great week. Stay safe, stay cute, stay stinky, and I love you, bye.